Hey everybody, welcome to Supernatural Health. My name is Joe, thanks for coming by. Today we're making a live tabbouleh salad. It's really delicious, it's really easy, and it's really, really good for you. So, let's get started. I'll tell you all about it along the way. First things first, as always, we scrub up. Nice clean hands. Okay, so this is a terrific dish. I've been eating tabbouleh for about 25 years. These days I have it more than ever. I, I make this dish maybe four or five times a week. Um, I originally started eating tabbouleh back when I was in college. My best, uh, my best college buddy, Adrian, and I used to go to a place in our college town called Evelyn's. Uh, we're starting off with some uh, bunch of organic parsley and uh, it's all washed so it's ready to go. I'm just gonna chop it up. Curly parsley. My sister goes crazy when I use curly parsley. She likes flat leaf. You have to use flat parsley. Like, eh, curly works for certain things. You know? Anyway, so Adrian and I used to go down to, uh, used to go down to Evelyn's and um, it was a it's still around too. It's a Lebanese place run by a, a family. The mother always did all the cooking. And we would sit there for hours and, you know, talk and eat all these uh, great Lebanese country dishes, you know, tabbouleh and hummus and fatouche salads and mijadras, lentil dishes. And sometimes we'd go there on double dates and stuff, but most of the time it was just a guy's thing. We still meet there when he's in town. He's, he's a great dude. He's down in Florida now working on uh, alternative energy with uh, Repower America. In fact, he's doing a big thing right now to help rebuild the uh, <laughs> help rebuild the infrastructure down in Haiti. He's doing a lot of really good, really good work down there. I'm really proud of him. But okay, so we've got some parsley. We just roughly chop it up. And we are ready to go here. Whoop, come here, you. Counter's clean, don't worry. When I first started making uh, tabbouleh myself, you know, I made it the traditional way with bulgur wheat, and then I got to thinking, well, you know, let's make this non gluten and do it, you know, a little more healthy way, and I started making it with quinoa. That was about 15 years ago. Then about, no, no, quinoa, yeah, quinoa was about that long ago. Then about six years ago, I made it with red quinoa, and then going back about a year and a half, I didn't have any quinoa in the house at all, and I wanted some tabbouleh, and I really didn't want to go downtown to the market to get some quinoa, so I made it with hemp seeds, and that was it. Ten minutes, it was done, and totally raw, totally live, really, really healthy, great essential fatty acids, great protein, easy, easy to do. I'm going to cut up these plump tomatoes nicely. It's going to be a small cut on the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So I trust you guys are all doing well, taking care of yourselves and taking care of each other. That's the name of the game. One day at a time. Okay. Pop the tomatoes in there. Can you see that? That's pretty cool, right? Love this stuff. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. That being the case, we're done. Next time. All right. 
You know me, that gets washed and put away, first things first. Safe and clean. That's the way we want everything. guard. It's always safe to put your hands in there. You do a couple little things like this, you take a quick minute and it removes a lot of the headaches of the world. Now, let's get some lemon going. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Eh, there's always a few seeds, you know. Try our best to get them out. Okay. Let's see. Are we safe? Yeah, we're pretty good. Squeeze up the lemon. Now, we've got some good organic extra virgin olive oil. I love this stuff. Bio Nature. Mm, eyeball it, as with everything else. Oh, volcanic sea salt. Okay. Now we give this a little mix. I saw a lemon seed in there. That's all right, it's only one. Okay, that's almost there. Done now. And now to finish off, we've got our hemp seeds. Maybe eighth of a cup, something like that. Okay, eighth of a cup of hemp seeds, large plum tomato, minced up fine, three bunches of parsley, some olive oil, some lemon and some good quality sea salt. I used a uh, pink volcanic sea salt today. Okay. That's good. Uh, Celtic sea salt is good. Lima sea salt is good. It's a good Portuguese sea salt that I like sometimes. What is that called? Uh, oh, that's from Eden. That's a good, that's a good one. <laughs> so here we go. Raging fast, live to bully. Just a few minutes from conception to consumption. What is that? Right there. Oh, it's a lemon seed. Okay. So we're going to give this a try. As I've said other times, I'm going to eat all of this, so I'm going to put my chopsticks right into the dish. When you're serving others, make sure you have a serving utensil. Don't put stuff in your mouth and put it back in the dish. It's not cool. Okay. So let's try it. Oh boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get a mouthful of this stuff here. Mm. Hey, come here, you. Here we go. Mm hmm. All right. This is really good. So, chlorophyll, phytonutrients, phytonutrients, essential fatty acids. Amino acids, um, carotenoids, electrolytes in the lemon, and just, you know, a lot of eating joy. This is wonderful stuff, I tell you. I love this. Oh, God, I love this. Um, you know, it's detoxifying, chlorophyll just cleans out your cells, it oxygenates you, nourishes you, makes your mouth taste good. Makes the world turn really nicely. Okay, so this is Supernatural Health. My name is Joe. Thank you for coming by. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay healthy. Stay strong. Peace. We'll see you soon. Ciao.
Shavuli.